Gentle people, Rockstar has done a Rockstar thing again when they've done something that is very good. Overall, it's a very good idea. The community has loved it and then hasn't really done it to its fullest potential. It's close, but, but it just needs a little bit of work. And it's the fact that they finally decreased the price of some certain vehicles. Now, it's not like they've just decreased like all sedans, like 50% or something. It's very specific vehicles, which more will come out in future times. However, we have a list that we need to go over, starting us off with the armored box fill. That has gone from 2.9 million to 1.3 million. And now my unwanted opinion on this is this vehicle should have never got close to 2 million, let alone 3. And I feel like this should have still probably gone to potentially 6 digits, maybe a million dollars. Just, just maybe. But one thing that should have, have been touched is the Akula, as that has gone from 3.7 million to 4.5. This is a very, very good vehicle, and I would highly suggest getting this before the increase. It's only 750,000, but I mean... It's still an increase. Now, as for the Granger 3600 LX, that has gone from just under 1.4 million all the way up to 2 million. This vehicle is quite okay. I don't really have an opinion on this, which it's not like anyone cared about it. But I mean, if you did want this vehicle and you want to save yourself some money, I would recommend getting this vehicle before this increase does appear. Now, one of the increases that isn't really changing much is going to be the Scramjet, going from 3.5 million up to 4 million. It's only a $500,000 increase. This vehicle is really fun. The missiles are really good, and you're already paying 3.5 million. So an extra half a million, it's not really going to, you know, it's not really going to harm you when you're spending 3.5 million already on a Scramjet. However, Again, it's an increase nonetheless. So if you do want the scramjet, get it before the date of this implying. The Chernobog is another amazing discount going from 3.3 million, which will now be one and a half million, more than half price off permanently off this vehicle. It's a very fun vehicle with a multi-lock-in, multiple other missiles, and also you can just drive your military wherever you want. It's a very fun vehicle, which is now going to be more than half price forever but one of the more less appealing ones the deluxo that has gone from 4.7 million all the way up to 5.75 million an increase of just over a million dollars which i mean for the deluxo it's still pretty good because you can fly places obviously pretty fast and the missiles are still pretty fucking good when it goes to the target so i mean if you are wanting it Get it now because you will save a million dollars, which is a decent chunk of change, no matter the price tag that you were originally going to pay. But now as for the Runa 2000, this should have been more of a discount because it's only gone from 5.7 million down to 3.7 million. This vehicle is outdated as hell and it should have gone to at least 2 million, if not less. However, hey ho, at least it's a discount. We're going in the right direction, lads. Now, the jetpack will be going from 3.6 million down to just 2.5 million. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's pretty much just a helicopter, but a lot less metal. And for just an insane price of 2.5 million, you should just own this just to have it in your facility, just sat there. It just makes it look better. So, spend 2.5 million and get this when it's discounted. Now, the Tula will go from just under 5.2 million all the way down to exactly 4.1 million. A decent discount for this vehicle. So if you were thinking about purchasing it, I would hold off a little bit and just save yourself that $1 million. And the exact same goes for the Stromberg. It's going from 3.2 million down to 2.5 million. A little less than a million dollar saving. However, if you were thinking about buying the Stromberg, which I, I don't know why you would be nowadays, but if you were thinking about buying it, you'll be saving yourself quite a nice chunk of change but now going to the two very good ones or very bad ones depending on how you look at the second one because the original oppressor is going from three and a half million down to 2.75 million this is great as this vehicle is really fun to just bounce off everything and then just boost your way into the air and blast a guy who thought they were an absolute sweat and you've just beaten them on the original oppressor or if you um felt like feeling what it's like before we had the um, abomination which was the oppressor mark ii which speaking of that is going from ho hold your sweet cheeks here that is going from 3.9 million just under to 8 million dollars before the trade price these are all before the trade price but 8 million dollars before the trade price that is insane that is a yacht my friend you get a yacht 
with multiple boats or a flying fuck. The Torador is up next and with it competing with the Stromberg, it is an amazing price difference between the two as it is going from 3.66 million up to four and a quarter, almost a $2 million increase on top of the Stromberg, which yes, this vehicle is a lot better, but is it $2 million better? Who really knows? It depends if you have friends. So yeah, the Stromberg's better in that case. But for the final two, the weaponized Ignis only available on next-gen consoles. That is going from three and a quarter million up to four and a half million. This is an amazing vehicle. It's quite fun. The gun, you're not really going to use it that much because it's not that maneuverability. However, it is still badass looking. So I would get this while you can for a one and a quarter million less. And finally, the Bombushka is going from just under six million dollars to 4.75 this vehicle was never really overpowered however it's just a bunk of metal so i mean it was nice that it's been discounted and it's just fun to own because um well it's huge now all of these discounts mentioned will be implemented on the 27th of april so if you do want to get any of these vehicles that are going to be increased then get your ass on gc online before april 27th and get these vehicles however if you want to wait to get the discounted vehicles, then you have a little bit more time to save some more money. However, if you did enjoy this video somehow, or you did just find it helpful, most likely, then maybe check out this video up at the top right hand corner, because you will absolutely enjoy that video up there. And if you go ahead and do that, I hope you all have a fine fucking fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.